Hi there, and welcome to Virgo Pegasus Doll Resort. I'm Virgo, and today have I got a special box opening for you. So, we are joined by my new Peaches and Samuel back here, keeping the vibe alive of dream type babies coming at you. And this is probably uh, the most dream type baby other than Cassie Brace everything <laughs> um, by a special artist that I thought honestly I would probably never own her dolls or well I thought I would but I thought it would take quite some time to get one of her dolls even just one of her dolls because her dolls are so expensive but in the meantime I also have some eBay purchases and I thought why not open them here so I can leave reviews for them so this is the mohair um, I've been buying from this same lady that has the Angora, I think it's sheep, the sheep. I bought some goat mohair, and I did not like the product, the amount. It was really not what I expected. So I have actually been buying all my mohair from this one lady on, um, on eBay. And I will put her info in this here video. And <clears throat> came all the way from Connecticut. So upstate sheep. <laughs> Anyhow, I've been buying her mohair and I did, uh, I've been doing my Alexa Marie and then I realized I really needed to get another black and she only had one left for sale, but then she had some other colors. So I'm going to put this here so everybody can see it here. Thank you for your purchase. Enjoy your item. Fantasy Dolls by Donna Ann or Shop. We got that eBay. It's fantasy hyphen dolls hyphen by hyphen Donna hyphen Ann with an E or shop fantasy dolls in here. Etsy, they are etsy.com shop fantasy dolls and their shop is fantasy dolls. Please check both eBay and Etsy as I offer different items in each venue and at Facebook fantasy dolls by Donna Ann. So Donna Ann does this wonderful hair and thank you, Donna Ann. Um, I have bought many, many of it, many of their hairs now because I really do. They give you a good amount for a good price and the shipping's included and I've been very impressed with it. So it is very baby hairish as far as it's very thin mohair, but I like that for the babies. Tibetan lamb fur care instruction. The curls on your fur may be flat, flattened from, from shipping. To revive them, you can spray them with water so the curls are damp. <clears throat> Lay flat to dry. Curls will reform into their natural shape. Visit my Etsy shop for more sizes and colors. And then they've got their fantasy dolls. In front. So, I really do love this hair product. I've been using it for a while now on rooting. And I love her hair. And I will put her info on here. But I just wanted to open this here. And excuse me. <clears throat> my voice seems to be coming in and out. Uh, with, with the situation that's going on back in Texas with my father. I've been talking to a lot of people and updating people and different things and i um, been losing my voice back and forth it's been coming and going so i'm sorry if that uh is a problem my voice is not uh normal right now but <laughs> it'll do it'll do <coughs> also been crying a lot that happens you know so this happens when you're losing someone you love and you know it um so it's beautiful, and this is the what I've been using on my um, Alexa Marie is this black. You know, I don't use the black as much. It's for more dark skin, dark haired babies. But um, I mean, you can put it on any baby. It can go any on anything. But um, <laughs> but I mean, I like it with my more olive complected babies or my my um, biracial babies or whatever. You know, I like the the black for that or the dark browns too. But this one is really pretty, and then I realized that I was using a lot because she's got a big fat head. My Alexa Marie. So, I ordered more black, and while I was going to order more black, and it was the last one of the black, they had lavender, and I have gotten pinks and stuff, but this lavender is really pretty. It is really pretty. And I have a special project in mind for certain colored ones I got. I got a certain reborns that I might be putting together for my my kiddos, maybe for, for uh, Christmas. I'm not sure yet. So, if you're watching here, close your ears, kids. Anyways, and they are more of a fantasy reborn so the lavender is definitely my bell my oldest daughter my 23 year old in montana that's her favorite colors like lavender and teal or like light greens and stuff. anyway she loves lavender so 
I like that color. I like that color a lot. And then I went ahead and got into this other brown. Um, the other one is like a medium brown. This is very similar to though. But I use a lot of brown. So this was one of their different browns. I think it was the last amber brown or something like that. Anyways, it's brown. We use a lot of brown in this house. Um, I like the brown on the babies too. So got that. So that's from her. And you get a really good amount. You know, it's like... Very good. It's a lot of hair. It's super soft. It is beautiful. Uh, I flat iron it, you know, before I go rooting and all, and I haven't had any kind of issues with any of it. It's just a really pretty, really, really soft, baby fine hair. Uh, hair. And sometimes she has, you know, different ones. And they come on a leather s swatch, you know, and it's layers of them. So you get a good portion. You can do a couple. It depends on how thick. Like if you're doing very thin rooting, you can get several babies out of this, like four or more. If you're doing thicker rooting or your baby has a big old chunk of monk ahead, you, you can get a baby um, or a little, a little, a baby and then some, but not much, you know. So anyways, I love their stuff. It rounds out to be around like 10 or $11 per swatch. Yeah, that's right. 10 or $11 for this entire piece and that's including shipping so this lady's phenomenal her stuff tends to go but i have been stocking i've got all kinds she, she has the most beautiful hair you know i mean she doesn't have super long stuff on there she also does barbie wigs and stuff that she sells separately on her ebay store but i love her hair i've been buying it and when i see new colors i have to get them from her because her hair her lambs or whatever. It's lambs, right? Yeah. Her lambs are beautiful. Then I also got this. This is actually from Mercury, and I have to review the lady, and today's the second day, and so I need to get it done. So we're going to go ahead and open this, and uh, so I can do my review of her so she can have a stellar review, because I feel bad that I missed out on reviewing my peaches seller on Mercari, because it only gives you three days to review, and um, it's quite frustrating. Okay, so I've been kind of collecting these for a while now, for like the last little over a year or something. Um, and I want to do a big photo shoot with my babies. And so when I saw this one, I've been watching it for a while. The lady sent a ridiculous amount. I think I paid $6 for this. Plus shipping and ended up being right at 10 I tend to think these outfits are worth about 20 I don't ever pay that. I try to find them when I can get a good deal. But this being pumpkin and all she sent that offer and i was like yep i'm buying that immediately because it had a bunch of watchers i've been watching it since the summer so she's had it a while yeah definitely and so it's got cute little pink shoe little pumpkin colored you know socks with the little ruffles i mean this is like you know avant-garde for babies I did almost cut the fabric when I cut into it, but I didn't, thank God. So it's a beautiful little tutu, and it's got these marigold colors that fade into the, like, bright orange with glitter on that. And then it's got this cute little pumpkin headband with the pumpkin and the little gold and the little ruffle. And then it comes with these beautiful socks. So I think for $6, and then it was like $4, so it ended up being like $11 or less under the, it was under eleven dollars. It was in the ten dollar mark range for the full brand new, brand new Ellie and Emmy. And I sure like this Ellie and Emmy stuff. This stuff is very cute. I've got crocheted stuff too because I wanted to copy the pattern. But for what I paid six dollars for this, you can't even get the tool for the skirt for that. And if you know any kind of crafting, then you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, um, but the tool is beautiful and definitely going to get two thumbs up from the lady that I bought this from. And I will try to link her info, too. I know I don't get on top of that immediately, but I do go back and try to link it. Um, it's just a lot of people that I buy from don't have but a few things up. And a lot of it is only, like, one baby item. So if you went to look at their stuff, it might not be that. But you might find something else. So this was from Amelia. Was my seller of this. And I don't know her name on there, but her name is Amelia. And she sent it, and it came in like three days, and I bought it when I was still in Dallas, and then I went to Nebraska, and then she sent me a thing saying she was sipping it, you know, a little, like a couple days later, and I was like, that's fine, because I'm not even in Texas, or in Colorado. So, and then I'm back in Colorado, and it arrived like yesterday, so... I need to, uh, so that's what I'm saying. I've got a remainder real quick, so here it is. Beautiful Ellie and Emma, um, little tutu set. So... Those are two of the items that I got on eBay. And I know it's already nine minutes in, but we're going to get to this box opening. Because this box opening is like something else. So, we're going to get right on to it. 
Now this package came from, um, okay, first of all, I saw her stuff on Mercari, okay, but Mercari's fees are getting ridiculous. I don't know if you know, but they're charging tax on the shipping for the seller and the buyer. So you're not only paying all these fees, you're paying tax also on the shipping, which is insane. You go to the post office, they're not going to tax you on buying a book of stamps. I'm sorry, it's ridiculous. So um, I noticed her stuff there, and she has another baby that I really, really, really want. So I might not link her name on here until I buy that baby, and then I'll come back and link her name on here. Because I don't want y'all to know so that I can go get this other baby that I want, but the baby's... Yeah, it costs a little more. So, I'm I'm holding. I got to hold off a little to get the other one. Then I will link her. I promise I will link her, but I can't link her until I buy the other baby. Because one of y'all is going to go on there and buy that baby. And then what? And then what? Yeah, exactly. So, I will link her, but it might be, you know, a couple weeks after this comes out or a month after. Because I want this other baby. So, yeah. Anyways. I couldn't with this one. I couldn't not, okay? And then I sent her a message and she, she said she would do it. She would sell it for what I asked, which was... A really good deal for a you know a certain artist doll and then sure enough I I couldn't believe it and she said I'll do it and she went and changed the price and this mohair is now all over our bed Yeeks. in just a minute so yeah hold on one second okay sorry about that had to go would be my Gotta get that, uh, gotta get that mohair off, because this is a special baby, and we don't want all that mohair on the baby. Yeah, that's the one thing, you know, it sheds a lot when you're, uh, glitter and mohair everywhere. That's okay, because you know we're magic. We are magic up in here with our magical little babies. So, okay, moving on. Back to this. So, I didn't think I'd get this seller. I didn't think I'd get this doll. I was, I really wanted... Another doll that she has. I really want another doll that she has, but um, it's comparative to what I paid for this one by a different artist. But then when I saw this one, and she must have just posted it. So she had this other doll on Mercari, and I saw it. And then I went and looked on eBay, because I like to look around in Etsy and all. And I found that she had been selling them on both. So when you put it in your cart for the same amount, and the same amount shipping... If you put something in your cart on Mercari and you put it on your cart on eBay, you can see the final as you go down before you purchase it. You can see what they're charging, how much they're charging. And it ended up being almost $20 more to buy it through her on Mercari, this other doll I wanted. But then she pulled the doll. I was I was discussing it with her. She pulled all her stuff off Mercari. She, like, froze her account. I guess, you know, the fees are ridiculous on there. Even though I used to think the fees were better than eBay. So then I was on eBay and I saw that she was there, of course. And so then I went and looked at her stuff and this doll was there. And I couldn't not. And he was just like, Mommy, Mommy. And so. And so it happened. And it happened because this doll right here is so special. Uh, this doll is by another one of my favorite artists. Who you've probably seen on many of my favorite doll video people's sites. Because it is... It is a Claire Taylor. That's right. That's right. It's Gabby Gal by Claire Taylor. It is. And then I thought if I buy this doll and then I see this doll and I can see if her artwork is what it looks like online, which is beautiful, then I'll have to buy the other doll. And then that will just be what happens. So, um, let's see what her artwork's like and then... Hopefully, I can make her an offer on the other doll if I really like her artwork. And then I'll be able to put her info on here sooner. But she is $442 of $500. This Gabby Gale kit is number $442 of $500. The kit includes an unpainted vinyl head, full arms, full legs, and a cloth body. When assembled, the kits makes a 22-inch baby doll. Gabby Gale requires 20-millimeter eyes, not included. ClaireTaylorDolls.com And, of course, you see who just came in here? Dewey. Dewey, where you been? He was in here, but he didn't want to be on the bed. And now that he sees I'm doing this, he gets mad. He literally gets mad if I don't call him. So I called him in here, and then I was taking too long, so he left. But now he sees that I'm doing this, so there he is. So that's right. It's Gabby Gale 
eyes awake. So this is the the Gabrielle awake. You know, and even I can't even find the darn asleep. I love the big fat lip on this baby. Let me tell you what I have big fat lips when I was a little baby somewhat. So, anyways, very cute. So this little baby comes with. This little knit. Oh, it's a little cute knit bonnet. Do y'all see that? Definitely knit. Not crochet, because I crochet. And then a cute little binky. So. Yeah. Just. All right. Moving on. <laughs> and there's this binky. Hmm. And they did send a care sheet. Um, to retain the wonderful skin color, never use baby wipes or lotion on the skin of your baby. You may occasionally clean with a damp cloth, dabbing it and drying immediately with a soft, dry cloth. Your baby's hair has been rooted and sealed from the inside. So, it has all the different little stuff. Okay. And then, we will now get you out. Oh, you have big babies, aren't you? So, hold on. Let me see real quick if I can get my... Okay, let me see if I can get my other poppy over here. So, very excited about this little boy. That I am, and it is a little boy, according to the pictures and all. So, hmm. We have a little boy. Stick on this. Now, I'm going to do that because he's got a blanket too, doesn't he? He's got a blanket too, so. And he's in this beautiful blue blanket. I cannot believe I have a Claire Taylor, you guys. Oh my goodness. I just can't. I can't, you know. It's it's something that I just, you know, I think this is definitely a piece that is going to be a collector's piece as far as any of these. Any Claire Taylor. And um, I just feel blessed that I ended up getting this, this little one. So. Here we go, guys. dun da 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 Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He's got little veins and all the Oh What you thinking guys? Oh look at you. Mm hmm Look at you. And his eyes are German glass. But he's got a little glue on one. Definitely got German glass eyes, I said. Hmm. Oh my goodness, look at this little boy. Oh. You guys getting this? I mean, look at him. Tell me what y'all think, though. Come on, be honest with me. What do you think? Oh, look at those lips. He's so cute. Okay, he's in this very cute little under armor set here Let's see him there he is he's such a cutie patootie now let's get a little more into the details with him he is good he's supposed to be like 23 inches and he comes with this under arm and jacket which is just for him they said they like to specifically pick out clothes for the dolls that they make individually so so he is He's got a little onesie underneath. But you got a diaper on too? No diaper, huh? You're not that big a boy. Hmm. So this is a zero to three month jacket. Mm -hmm. What we got going on in here with your eye, buddy? Okay, let me just get something. I almost want to say they're acrylic and not glass, though. Mm-hmm. But he's got his... He's 
Got beautifully rooted here. Look how thick that is. And they're like really individually in there. It's got an interesting plasticky smell kind of. So over here he's got some roots or veins. On his hand. He's got the one on the wrist on the inside. And then. There. And then he's got him on the hand here too. He's like me. He's so veiny. He's a veiny boy. And you know every baby has their own looks of the. Veining and all, too, so... Some people be like, oh, that's too much. But some babies, you know... He is glossed and tipped. Very nicely done there. He is not overly modeled on the head. His ears are blushed gorgeously. Minimal. On the face... Oh, what's happening there? Boy, you're a cutie, though. Let's check out his feet. He's good. Blushing and veining on his feet, too. Y'all see that? He's a viney little boy. <laughs> and the blushing. So. He's cute, though. Let me come sit here. Let me look at you. Put me a moon nickel. Need a good couple pounds. He's probably right under five, and I think that's what they said. They're right around five pounds. But he is really cute. A little heavy on the veins. Here. Well, he's a cutie, though. Alright, little boy. I'm doing zero to three months here, too. Alright, we're gonna take that off. Oh, he's a cuddle, though. And he is wearing an all star child of mine by Carter's. Um, Romper and it's in that baseball theme with the stripes and so forth. And then he is in he's a little chunky monkey too. Look at him. Look at him. He's a cutie. He is a cutie. What's going on, sweet boy? What's going on? Oh my goodness, look at him. He is really something else, isn't he? He's like, I'm just so sad. You see what I mean? I just had to get him. Because he was like, he's just beautiful. And he's a Claire Taylor, you guys. I have a Claire Taylor. 2016 Gabby Gale. Something. C-A-T. Claire Taylor Dolls. So, yeah, I mean, he's adorable. That blankie is so fuzzy. He's got a little bit of that rubbery smell, like the filler in him or something has that. But look at him. He's so precious. He is. He's just a cute little boy. So, and he's a good side little little monkey. He's a good size little monkey. He is. So he does not have excessive veining. You can see a little of the modeling. It's really pretty with the blue undertones. And then keeping it simple, you know, not too much. 
veining in the arms and all. Uh, but very nice blushing. So, he's a chunka. I cannot believe I have a Claire Taylor, you guys. I know, and Cassie Brace is my favorite. But, the Claire Table Taylor is one of those that, you know, it's one of those exceptional artists um, that... That, you know, a lot of people will never be able to own because she is very expensive or her dolls are very expensive. And, um, but that's okay. That's okay, baby. Because I got me one now. I don't feel like I'm lacking in that, you know, that I need to have a, a Claire Taylor. Because I have a, I have a Gabby Gal. I do. I do have a Gabby Gal. And you are the cutest little button, aren't you, just Cute Let me see. Um, one second, guys. Let me see if I can find something to throw this little munchkin in. Okay, so we're gonna put him in this little. Don't you wish? Don't you wish face fake babies were a tax deduction? <laughs> we're gonna put him in this little onesie. First of all, I don't think newborn's gonna cut it, bud. Whoops. Ooh, you're a big boy, huh? You're a big boy. You know what it is? I think they put a scent bag in him that's like new car smell. Like, you know how we put the baby, the baby scent in, in the babies and it's a, uh, hold on. Okay. So I had this, he has this interesting smell. It's like a new car, right? Like a new car smell. He smells like fresh carpet that you just bought. Right, okay. I think that what is going on is that these Wonder Wafers you can buy and they have the baby powder scent and you can put them in the bodies when you stuff them. I do that. And I'm going to have to reweight him a little anyway, so I'll have to restuff him. But I think that they might have put like a new fresh scent in him that's like a car smell or something. I don't know. It's not car smell. It you know, it's not a bad scent. It's just, um, he doesn't, it doesn't, it, it's like a new car. It's a new smell. I don't know. Or the plastic, but he doesn't, he smells good. He doesn't have any weird smell. It's just, um, it's definitely like a fresh, I don't know. He probably has one in there and it's a different kind of center. So what I do is this, I take the baby powder thing, you know, you can even cut these, but um, I put them in the diaper if I'm not chopping the head yet, and then I'll stick it in the body, and usually I fold it and stick it in between the glass beads somewhere in the middle, because I'll do like a sack and then another sack. So with this, uh, for now, I'm going to just fold this one in this, this, na this tissue. This is just a folded tissue. And I put it in there because that blue can leak, and it can come into their fabric, even on the inside of them. You want to pack it between things because it can leak, and it can stain the fabric or his inner thighs. Things like that. So, we are not going to let that happen. Are we, little munchkin? Nope, nope, nope. I'm going to put him in a two also. because I think you're about a two. Two to a three. Probably a two. So, then you have that um, fresh scent. And it's in the napkin. And it still smells really strong. And it will soak through into his... Give him that fresh smell. Um... But he doesn't have, like, a bad odor. Like, nothing like that. It just smells like he has a different air freshener odor, and it's not the baby powder, per se. And so it's kind of different. I'm not used to having that. But I have heard that you can get a new baby, a new scent and stuff and put them in there. It's the same thing, you know. I buy the Wonder Wafers. I think I pay, like, under $20 for 48 or something. Anyway, they end up being, like, less than the penny, you know, three for a dollar type of deal or something. So... So, this is my Gabby Gale boy. He's just my baby boy. Yeah, I think you're a boy too, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And he is cute as can be. And I'm going to think on his name. I don't know. I kind of like Kevin or Craig. Those are my uncles. But I kind of... I don't know. He could easily be a Kevin. Like from, um, Honey, <laughs> what is it? The, the Christmas 
uh, Macaulay Culkin, you know, where Home Alone, <laughs> he could be easily be Kevin from Home Alone or whatever, because that's, uh, he's got that look about him, he's just trying to do stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to get tax deductions, even though I'm not a real baby. That's what he's, that's what he's saying now. <laughs> okay, so just having a little fun with him. Yeah, we're just gonna have some fun with you, boyo. We're gonna put you in a new outfit, and we'll take the tags off your other outfit and wash it and get it ready for you, and then you can wear it again. We got you in a new fresh diaper because that's what's happening. You can take in the. Oops. Stick something under him to prop him up a little more, maybe. There we go. Something like that. Because he is just too cute. Just too cute. You're not the cutest little boy. Look at those pretty eyes. He is really, really a beautiful baby. Yes, you is, my beauty. My beauty boy. Okay. He is really cute. <laughs> All right, so I thought about well, let's just put him in a sleeper or something, and then I thought this is this is good. This is zero to three months jamboree. It's got little froggies, and why not, right? You know how we feel about frogs, and so yeah. Actually, I still have this guy right here from. Uh... <laughs> he wants to play with him too. I'm sorry, Elsie. Actually, Elsie's in the in the living room with Daddy. She's sitting on the couch with Daddy. She's so cute. She had to go out there. Well, we got Samuel and, and Peaches in here though. So we're gonna put this. It's white with uh, leaping frogs over the little um, little pond or a little little puddle. And there's a cattail coming out of that puddle and little cattails. So I thought, why not make it a froggy day? Cause was inspired by Elsie's little blanket and stuff earlier. So, and Elsie's another one I had an unboxing, and so you can go back and check out my Elsie if you want. That artist is really, I really like her work, um, and she's an eBay artist. So, this guy also came from eBay. And like I said, I'm probably gonna see what I can work out on this other baby I want. And once I get that other baby, then I'll, then I'll give you the info. <laughs> that's how that's gonna work, okay? That's how that's going to work. And that's what's going to happen. Um, we'll just have to see. I really I really love this other baby. And and uh, like I said, I was going to get her before I was going to get him. But then, then he just popped up. You did. And I knew he'd be gone in no time. I mean, we're talking to Mark of uh, these dolls sell for so much. And, and he was, you know... A good deal. He was, you know, my high end is like 300 or more, right? Is like high to me. Whereas some people be like 3,000 or whatever. Let's just say he was in my highest, he's probably my most expensive baby. But he was still under the 500, 400, right around that mark. So, yeah. Now you know. You know, but that's, it's hard to find a clear tailor. Um, even the kits are very, very expensive. But, um... Yeah, so he's probably my most, but he's also a Claire Taylor. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have one of these in your collection. If you're, if you've got a pretty big collection, I think that you know having different artists is important and um, supporting those artists. But I literally did not believe I was gonna have a Claire Taylor, and I know my dream baby. It's got like a little fly above it too. My little, I really love the Willow um, silicone by Claire Taylor. That is like my biggest dream baby, but I don't see that one happening because. I don't know that I will ever, you know, spend so much on a doll. But his head is very light because he's a big baby. And now he's in this cute little froggy. Don't look so upset, babies. Don't look so upset, my little babies. What you so upset for, babies? Oh, what you so upset for? Why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? He is just a beautiful sculpt. I love the fat lip. I just love that fat lip. So, he just has a light painting in the face and all. Not a whole lot of modeling. Not a whole lot of veining or anything. And that's okay. Like, my babies didn't have a ton either. He does have undertones, you can see. Um, 
and his hair is just amazing that there's so much of it and it is like just shocked at the rooting on this guy definitely beautiful but okay so there's patches that have like more hair in them and then he's got the thinner that's cool um beautifully rooted beautifully rooted He's got a lot of hair. I like that a lot. I love that. And it is beautifully rooted. It's all hand rooted. He's beautiful. He really is special. That eye is going to drive me nuts. Hold up one sec. Okay. So I cleaned up his eyes a little bit. And got some of that glue. And he had a little eyelash that was wonky. I took that out. Real quick, so I just cleaned him up a little, just washed his eyes, and yeah, and then we do it around here. Something slightly off, we just change it up a little. So, <clears throat> here he is in his little froggy outfit, and then there's also a little froggy hat. I gotta tell you, his hair is something phenomenal, it is, it is just so thick, do you? See that? It's just so very much thick. And it's and it's not like tons of rooted. It's like rooted really well. He's really beautiful baby. So gonna give him this little hat too. That has the little tadpoles on it. What you putting me in this outfit for mama? What you doing, mama? What you doing, mommy? Why? Why? Right. Boy. <laughs> He is so full of personality, isn't he? He is. He is so full of personality. And I just can't believe that he is my little man. What, what you talking about? I was meant to be your man. So I was going to buy this other baby. And then there he was. And then he yelled at me. You better not. You better get me fuss, mom. And so here we are. And that is why I now have a Claire Taylor Gabby Gale. So, hope you all been able to see some of these details on him. He does also have the painted little pinkies and all. Um, but he's really handsome. I love that little, the way his hands are kind of, oh, he's just a handsome little bit. Yeah, you are, you are. So there he is, my Gabby Gale. I don't know, I'm kind of liking the name Kevin for him. And I might have to go put Craig on my other little dude I got coming. So, or over here. Not sure, but... Yeah, he is something, isn't he? He's just too, too cute. Just too cute, little man. Too cute. So that's what I got for you today. Uh, I'm sorry this video's a little long, um, but I wanted to get him out. I don't know if I'll be going back to Dallas anytime immediately, but I do know it will not be long before I am. And so I wanted to make sure I opened all my beautiful babies. I'm thinking he may even have to go with me. Because look at that face. You and my Mary Jane. Because you know my Mary Jane, my Sandy Sculpt. She is like this too with this face. This face. This face. Oh my goodness, guys. This face is everything. I cannot believe how cute he is. And I cannot believe for one second that I own a Claire Taylor. So let me just say it. Just because you think that things might be out of your reach, you guys, you never know what's going to pop up on the horizon, right? I mean, we just never know. And so just because something seems out of reach, it doesn't mean it always is out of reach. And so I didn't think I'd be getting this little guy for quite some time. And yet, and yet here we are, right? Here we are. Here he is. I mean, I didn't think I'd have a Claire Taylor. I mean... I thought, yes, I will have a Claire Taylor, but it could be a year or two. I surely didn't think, even a vinyl, that I would have a Claire Taylor. That's kind of cute on there, too, right? <laughs> I really just didn't think I would have a Claire Taylor. Like, boom, I'm looking at him, and there he popped up while I was trying to get this other doll. And then I had to have him instead. Put the other, you know, put a pin in the other one. But we'll see what happens. He is really cute. He really is. Isn't you my little cute boy? And I'm glad that you guys got to enjoy him with me. I hope you enjoyed him. Uh, I can't believe it. I cannot believe I have a Claire Taylor. I can't believe I have a Gabby Gale. And he is just, those eyes are gorgeous. They are indeed. I went and cleaned up his eyes a little and they are beautiful. And they are that German glass um, that they had, they had put the kind of German glass eyes he has in the, in the, but man, he's, 
phenomenal. Can I just say phenomenal? Phenomenal. Phenomenal. He is a handsome, handsome man. I am very impressed. I'm very happy with this purchase. I'll be leaving great feedback, and I'm sorry it took so long. Um, if you see this, I'm really sorry that it took so long, but I'm getting that feedback taken care of. He was sitting in a box all, you know, for the last 10 to 12 days. So I'm really sorry about that, but he's out. I'm back and I got him and we will be doing many videos with this little munchkin here. So anyways, if you made it to the end of this video again, thanks again. Like and subscribe. Hit the little belly thing if you're not already subscribed. If you're one of my faithful viewers, Thank you so much for watching. I'll try to keep putting out content that you enjoy. And I just want to say thank you guys so much uh, for standing with me and for joining me. God bless. Have a great day. Take care. Hug it all today. Bye-bye now. And I'll see you on the flip side.